Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take that. Vlogging with Dobby. Vlogging with Dobby. Welcome to Vlogging with Dobby. Hey guys, Alex here, and welcome to another vlog. I think, I hope. Anyway, um, I just, just random fact, just made nachos. Uh, I've got like cheese flavored Doritos, cheese, little champion mushrooms, or whatever they call it, championi, or whatever they call it, and uh, diced canned tomatoes. And mixed up, microwaved, and that's my, that's my, uh, yeah, my dinner. Anyway, I am exhausted. So, you know how we went on the road trip last week? That was to go to the hospital. Now, uh, the road trip was to, um, because we'd never been to this hospital before, me and my mum, uh, we decided to travel all the way to this place, which is a couple of hours away from my town, and uh, test where we're going. That's what the road trip was about. This morning, my mum was taken to that, well, back to that town, to the hospital for an appointment, well, for an operation an appointment and an operation. So, um, that's been somewhat stressful, um, you know, hospital things when you've got people that you love go to the hospital and they have to have an operation and it's like, well, fuck, that's, that's not good. Now, it's a minor operation, I'm not going to get into the details of that, but it's a, it's a common minor day procedure type operation, um, she's getting two things done at once and, uh, they're going to be keeping her in overnight, by the way, she's Fine. She finally got in contact with me. Um, she went in at, uh, well, she had to be there by 7 this morning. We got picked up at, well, the friend rolled up here at just before 6 and they left. I had three kids here that I had to get off to school, which I'll get to in a minute. But, um, yeah, she got there by 7, uh, filled out the forms, got changed and all that, and was in the surgery by, like, a little before 8. That's cool. That's fine. That's when she was going in straight up. Problem is, though, the hospital was meant to give me a call when she got out. They didn't. So I'm freaking the fuck out over here, back home. And uh, I'm calling them. I've got like three different numbers. No one knows anything. They keep transferring me around. It was like a good half an hour on the phone, bouncing between people. So I'm freaking out. My, my anxiety is already, like, really bad. <laughs> at the, that time, but I was freaking out. So, um, finally got a hold of someone after like, I don't know, 40 minutes or something like that, and found out that mum was fine, she was awake, and she was eating. That's all I was told. And I'm going, alright, well, that's good. You know, at, at least that is what I know now. And then about an hour later, she texts me herself, and, you know, she was groggy and all that, but that was all fine. Um, I don't know why the hospital didn't contact me when they were meant to. Even just a, a text or something. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Or whether that was a uh, comfort thing that they tell the patients that they don't really do. I don't know. Anyway, um, she's currently having dinner right now, which is 5.40pm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so she, that was all fine. I have been trying to nap on an awful day. I haven't had much sleep. I've had people keep contacting me to find out how mum is, which is fine, it's nice, but at the same time, like, I'm just doze off and someone calls or texts, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Um, so let's go to the kids thing. Um, the, the friend who's taking us has three kids, and um, they're actually the people who helped us when our car broke down. So these people, we can rely on them. I, I'm a very anti-relying on people kind of attitude, but we can rely on them, um, we've helped them out, and it all kind of evens out in the end. So three kids, one's in high school, two in primary school, or low, middle, uh, whatever you want to call it in, around the world, I'm not deciphering it. Anyway, um, they rolled up, they were exhausted because it's like five o'clock, they've been dragged out of bed earlier than they normally are. Uh, they sat down, I gave them the remote to the TV, told them just, you know, do whatever, find kids shows or whatever like that. They found some cartoon thing that I, I don't even know what it was. Um, that's all fine. They were kind of silent for like an hour. Um, the middle kid who's not normally talkative got talking about some games with me, so that's good. And yeah, they were, they were, they were beautiful kids. Like they were just really good kids for the morning for considering I was sleep deprived and stressed and everything like that. So, um, by the time, oh, I had to make sure one of them had medication too. I had to medicate a kid and it, it went well. I didn't kill the kid, so, yay. <laughs> by, uh, what was it, quarter to eight, 
the older kid had to go off to school on his own. He had to go to high school, walk in there. I oh, know he had a scooter, I think. So that was a fun. He went off. No problems, no arguments. That was great. Um, the other two, because after the older one left, it started to rain. So um, the, I told the mother, you know, it's, it's pissing down rain. Your kids are going to get wet. And so she called a friend and they dropped by to pick the kids up, which is good. The kids went off, but the kids are really good. Normally, apparently, they're not very good. So that's a good thing. So the kids went off. When they left is when I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm alone now. Shit. All my attention diverted to, you know, that little voice inside your head going, ha ha, I'm going to win. So, yeah, it's been an interesting day. My dog, Billy, who's technically mum's dog now, um, he has got a bald patch on his back again. He's, when mum left, he just continued to cry non-stop. So um, he's got, like, stress separation anxiety thing going for him, which is not good. And I can't have him in here because of blue. It's pissing down cold, raining outside, so I can't put one dog out and have the other one in. And so, <sighs> yeah. Hey, guys, and happy Easter. Now, today's Easter day, I think. Easter Bunny came last night. Blue's doing her rolling thing. Anyway, so today is Easter. I have done absolutely nothing for Easter, like Eastery. Uh, reasons why I'll get to in a minute. But um, I just want to say daylight savings kicked in today, or it ended. The clocks went back an hour, meaning right now it's 4.30, but technically it's 5.30. And at 5.30, my animals... My animals start getting hungry, and I normally try and feed them between around quarter two to six o'clock, you know, like, it's a good time because I can do their food and then go on to my food, and it's a good rhythm type thing, but now that the government, or whoever the fuck, I'm saying government, because, well, why the fuck not, has decided to have daylight savings and everyone has to turn their clocks back forward, whatever it is, uh, five o'clock to four o'clock, basically, um, I think it goes back an hour whatever um all my animals are hungry now at 4 30 in the afternoon so thanks government uh the surgery was fine it went well um she came home at the next afternoon so she went in at like five o'clock monday morning and she was home by five in the afternoon tuesday night yeah um a friend took her in and brought her back i stayed here because if we both go out and then only one of us comes back. The animals freak out, especially 10-year-old Billy, who is old and mum's dog now. So it came in waves. The anxiety came through and it's like, shit, really, really bad. And then it kind of went to rational thinking, like, no, it's okay, you know, stuff happens and they're probably going to call me soon. But she was delayed going home because of a few, um, like, uh, recovery complications. So that, that was all fine. It was easier to keep her in there than bring her home than have to send her back type thing. Uh, she came home. That was all fine. Um, I've been caring for her since then. Uh, I'm going to have to do another video on the whole fact that I am her full-time carer. I think I've maybe mentioned that once before. Anyway, um, so she's been like bedridden for like the past week and will continue to be mostly bedridden for the next six to eight weeks. Um, she's got an appointment on the 5th as a checkup check up on the, the, the wounds and all that so that that's all fine um, but yeah I've been just doing uh, you know feeding her keeping an eye on her helping her showering her and all those good things that you normally do as a carer for your parent today being Easter uh, we completely forgot because of the whole operation thing uh, Easter kind of got as the people in the middle say floated to a, a previous date maybe next year we'll celebrate it or something that, that's the haps of what's been happening in the last week. But anyway, today, today I decided to do some more tattoos. Now, last week, at some point, um, I did uh, a spiral on my finger because I wanted to, obviously. Why does anyone do tattoos? Because they want to. Anyway, I did a spiral on my hand, and I also did this one, the OM symbol. The OM in a uh, negative space style tattoo. Um, and I like the idea of the negative space tattoos, so I decided to do the OM symbol, and uh, then I decided to do some more. So I've done a uh, Celtic knot, and I did the ank. I think that's how you pronounce it, ank, ank, yep. Um, I was going to do another one here, but I've decided against that for now. But um, yeah, these are the three new tattoos I've done. You can probably see that, I don't know. I'll try and get a photo literally still got my tattoo gear like right underneath yeah yep 
Um, so, yeah, uh, I am doing my tattoos. I do want to make a video on my tattoos. I keep saying I'm going to do it. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and I never get there because every time I do a tattoo video, I'm pretty much my own critic. I'm no, that's not right, um, you know, being on the internet, I've been on many tattoo videos and you've got, like, the high and mighty artists come in and criticise you for everything you've done and it's like, fuck off if you're not into this kind of style of tattooing. As you can see, I do them by hand, like, I've got a needle in the thumb grip thing and that's it, I just sit there and tattoo. Um, this one, although very not sterile, if you will, it's a cardboard roll and I've Put that on there as an easier handle thing. Um, I've never had a problem, guys. Like, obviously, be sensible, be clean as best you can. But whatever, we're not talking about and that in this vlog. Hi, guys. It is the fifth of April today. Um, because my mum is still not able to drive, and I don't like driving because it's a huge adult responsibility. I'm not ready for. Uh, also, I, I've, I've got my learners, guys. I've got my learners. Anyway, anyway. Um, Friend took me. Uh, the friend who took my mum to the hospital also took me out today, driving for normal Thursday shopping. Uh, I went to a. I did everything I had to do, but, but, uh, we got sheets. Now I'm not sure if you're aware. I probably haven't told you. I may have done it just in a video, but we'll have a look anyway. Uh, last fortnight, <laughs> it's fucking sad. Uh, last fortnight, uh, I put a new sheet on my bed now because blue does her digging rolling thing on my bed it breaks the sheets after a while so let's have a look at the repair that I did last week it's kind of sad now because it's been ripped as you can see let's try and turn the light on as you can see I repaired a rip it's been ripped again but I did a pretty pretty good job at repairing it to keep it alive I also did <laughs> it's kind of fucking sad I also I also repaired here. There was a big rip here. It was big. Yeah, you did that. Now, it's it's just completely... Look at that shit. Oh, let's just destroy. Yeah, you did that, didn't you? You did that. I could kick you off the bed, but what's the point in that? And if we look over here... Oh, I don't even know where it ends. Anyway, it's big, big rip there and there. So we we bought new sheets. Cheap, whatever sheets. Yeah, that's probably not going to help the cause, is it? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take that. Anyway, so um, we're gonna put that on in a minute. I'm gonna try to, and uh, hopefully that survives a little bit longer than the current one. The current one was old though, so I suppose that's its excuse. Anyway, so that is that for this um, new sheet. I also got my Colossus, Statue of Colossus, little statue. I will be doing a standalone unboxing on that separately. She just walked off with the shit. I did all that. Um, my friend was great. She had two of her kids with her to start with, and then um, one of the kids, because we had to go back to pick mum up to go to an appointment, follow-up appointment for her surgeries. Everything was good. They took all the bandages off and stuff like that. Oi! took all the bandages off and stuff like that. Problem is, um, the wound is right where you move and stuff, and the guy was in a hurry. The guy seemed to be in a hurry, and um, he's like, yeah, you're fine, okay, off you go. And when mum got home, the wound had started opening up a tiny little bit, so we had some steri strips that we put on it. But it kind of makes you wonder what the fuck the doctor's doing if he's just like in, yep, goodbye and out type thing. It's like, you're meant to be doing your job, you know, you could have said, hey, look, I knew that new wounds, especially in places that move a lot, like on the middle of the stomach, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be weak, they're going to be very fragile, uh, whatever the word is to insert here for this category of talk, but they're going to be, you know, the, you've got to be careful. And to just like, oh yeah, you're fine, you can go now, you can do whatever you want. It's like, no, you can't, because the wound will open up again, which it did. So... Anyway, uh, I've put stereo strips on that, so uh, hopefully that holds. If it doesn't, then we just go down to our local doctor because that dude don't want to see us anymore. Whatever. Um, that that's about it. Um, I did book an appointment to get my daith, daith, doth, daith. The little uh, you got like an ear hole, and it's like the little bit of cartilage that kind of runs up just above it. 
inside, like, yeah, there. I'm um, getting that pierced on Monday. Um, the place I go to doesn't allow you to actually go in with the video camera, even if I took the GoPro, it's really small. But that's fine. Um, I'll take some photos before and after. It's great. I've done that before. Um, it's the same place I got my Medusa and my uh, second, second septum pierced. So that's cool, we're going in there to get that done, and then I'm going to go to the local Spotlight, which is a craft and material store, and buy some material for my mum to make a thing for someone she wants to do, his, yeah, she wants to do a thing, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Did you guys, I'm, I'm just going to ramble again, did you check out my video from the other day? I think it was on Saturday, Sunday, something like that. Me and Sam decided to play A Way Out. We played that six and a half hours straight. I streamed it live. It was it was a fun game. I had low expectations, very, very low expectations because I just did. Um, so with being so low expectations, it was it was an okay multiplayer game. You know, you can both work together, but it was too much like Uncharted. So you had like the whole walking with Nathan Drake with um, Sully or Nathan Drake walking around with Elena. Both together, it was very much like that, except instead of a computer running it, it was another person. That's how I saw it. So it was an okay game. I I personally probably won't buy it, unless it's really cheap, even though it is pretty cheap for a game. Um, but the whole only able to play it with another person is kind of a deal breaker for me. It's like, I don't have all that many people I play with. So... And it's what it is, but if you are a gamer who plays with a lot of people and or, or even just one or two people that you play all the time and that, it might be a good game for you. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe. That's always a good thing. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Be good to people. See ya.